Hello, welcome to Jask Draws. My name is Jask, and in this video I will be doing some line art. I took my sweet time drawing this whole thing, so I ended up having to cut this speed paint into two parts. This first part will showcase the line art, and then the next will be the color. I'll have a link to it in the description as well as at the end of this video. The characters here are from one of my Dungeons & Dragons games. The tiefling is my character, Darnik, and the human character is Zahn. Zahn is another party member played by one of my very wonderful friends. Zahn and Darnik are, as you might be able to infer, boyfriends. The two of them joined the party at two different times, Zahn coming along first and Darnik a little bit later. I was playing a different character at the time of Zahn's introduction, but ended up switching to Darnik, I think, three or four sessions after Zahn came along. The two of them hit it off almost right away. Their first interaction wasn't anything super significant, but I'll always remember what it was. The party was having breakfast as a group, meeting with Darnik and his employer at the time. Zahn and Darnik started gushing over how much they enjoyed the cook's personality and charm, and the cook appreciated our kind words so much that he gave us both extra food and a little bit of special treatment afterwards. That was also the day that Darnik ended up joining the party, though as far as he knew, it wasn't supposed to be a permanent job. Darnik's employer had hired him to escort the party from their current location back to an allied city, called The City. Zahn and a few other members lived there, and Darnik was to ensure that they got back to safety, as well as deliver an item to the city's mayor. When we arrived a couple of weeks later and reported to the mayor, the party's paladin, he had some information that he'd been meaning to ask the mayor about, but instead of asking in a sensical way, he just info-dumped all of his questions at him all at the same time, even when the mayor told him to stop, wait, hold on, don't ask those questions here. He did so anyway, and in so doing spoke a magic word that, when speaking this word, would unseal the archfiend that slept beneath the city that the mayor had been guarding this entire time. The only way to unseal the fiend was by speaking the magic word in vicinity of where it was sealed, and that's exactly what our paladin had done. So, the party was obligated to take the steps to help the mayor reseal this archfiend despite the fact that neither Zahn nor Darnik knew anything about what the hell the paladin did or where this information came from. We were sent into the Underdark to mine a certain mineral to forge some super special swords that would be used to seal the Archfiend again, and on that leg of the journey, Zahn and Darnik got a bit more well acquainted with each other. They ended up flirting a little bit here and there, and at one point they agreed that as soon as they had the chance, they'd have a saucy little get-together. This didn't end up happening until after we sealed the Archfiend, but it happened nonetheless. Once we took care of the Archfiend and the boys had their sexy little shindig, they started dating pretty quickly. We had an in-game time skip of eight whole months in which we were helping the city repair itself and get things back to normal, etc, etc. 
Zahn's player and I went back and forth in private about our boys, talking about if they'd think about dating or not. We both said that yes, they would, so we rolled to see who would ask the question to date and how soon into the eight months of downtime it would happen. It turns out that Darnick was going to ask, and he was going to ask within the first month of the downtime. And they've been together ever since. As of right now, it's been about 10 months in game. We've traveled a lot, and we most recently dealt with our settings equivalent of Pangea, splitting itself in half, which was certainly something. We are now on the ocean, trying to sail across a brand new ocean to get back to where we came from. However, I will get more into that in the second part of this video. I will also mention at this point that in recording this line art, I did cut out a significant chunk of drawing Darnick's scales. Those alone took about two hours, probably a little bit more. So I'm not going to extend this video's length for five minutes or more so you can watch me draw those hundreds of triangles. I've tried in the past to slap a texture on there, but it just doesn't work because his scales move along a particular curve on his body and I can never get any texture to match the exact positioning that it requires. So in the end, it's just easier and more satisfying to draw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tiny little triangles exactly where I need them to be. Anyway, given that this is going to be a two-part video, and I still have a second video to narrate, I'm not going to get into any more details in this one. I will save the rest of what I have to talk about for the longer coloring video. To see that one, just click the video link here at the end of this video, or if it's not showing up for whatever reason, there is another link in the description. As always, thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you will join me for future videos like this one. I will see you next time.